Miami is having an influx of residents moving in from out of state, and many of them are looking for affordable places to rent. Unfortunately, Miami and affordability don't always go together. But because I received so much interest in one of my previous videos that I made where you can find a $1,500 rental in downtown Miami, I thought that the best use of this channel and value that I can provide to you guys so far is to continue to show you other properties that you can find in Miami for under $1,500. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So don't say, I never do anything for you. Okay guys, so before we get started with today's property tour, you already know that I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Listen, guys, I know it's annoying. Trust me, I get it. I don't want to be doing this either. But that's just the way it is. That's how YouTube works. Take it up with them. Anyways, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If it's not too much trouble, it's half a second. It helps me out a lot, helps out the channel a lot, and it also helps you stay up to date with new property tour videos just like this one. So that's all that I have for you today. Now let's get started with the property tour. The Madison condo is located in downtown Miami's Park West neighborhood. Currently, this area is site to Miami World Center, which is one of the largest private projects in the United States. It comprises of 10 blocks of mixed-use development, which include retail, hospitality, and residential. The Madison downtown is a two-tower condo built in 1998 with a total of 355 units with the tallest tower spanning 22 floors. The building has a gated entry, secured building access, on-site security, and units come with one parking space. Amenities include tennis court, sand volleyball court, gym, pool, jacuzzi, and a resident lounge. The lobby does not have a front desk, however, it is secured through a fob system and guests must dial in to gain entry. As we enter the unit immediately, you're greeted by the kitchen, which comes equipped with granite countertops, a refrigerator, microwave, and a stovetop. Cabinet space is a bit limited in comparison to other buildings, but at $1,400 per month in rent, you can't really complain. It's compact and to the point, however, the backsplash, dark cabinets, and double bowl sink do a great job in making this kitchen more inviting. There's also a pantry for extra storage. Moving on, we get into the dining slash living room. You will notice that this living room in particular has a partition with these sliding panels. This is an added feature as most other properties will not have this type of divider. This floor plan is just shy of 600 square feet, but if you ask me, it does a great job in maximizing the space. The living room is a great size for a medium sized couch, and you can even fit a small dining table next to the kitchen counter. The balcony is spacious and faces west, but the best part is that this railroad you see here is actually the Brightline, which just recently opened back in 2018, and it connects Miami up to West Palm Beach with plans for an Orlando, Disney, and Tampa expansion set to open in 2022. This small corridor brings us to the bathroom, which is compact, but still manages to include a large single sink vanity with a bathtub. Storage space is a bit tight, but you do have a linen closet just outside of the bathroom. And last, but certainly not least, you have the bedroom. The window does a great job in letting natural light, which keeps the room looking bright and spacious. You should be able to fit up to a king-size bedroom set in this room with no problem. You will notice, however, that it does not have a walk-in closet, but when combined with a dresser, you should still have plenty of space. As I'm sure most of you are aware, finding a rental in Miami for under $1,500 is not the easiest thing to do as options are very limited. However, there are still some other gems out there that I think are worth considering looking into. And exactly what other gems are out there, you may ask? Well, in order to find that out, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. So do that now and don't forget to like this video. And while you're at it, click on any of these other property tour videos that I have here and here. And that's all for today, guys. See you all next week.